And hey, welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event. Hope everyone's had a good week so far. It is Friday and we have a Southern Aggression match. It is a Pry 4, 240 on the server pop, 117 for the defending CSA versus 123 for the attacking Union. And I do have a guest commentator today. It is Mr. Lightburn from the Pathfinders themselves, the 4th West Virginia. How are you, good sir? Doing very well. Thanks for having me again. Oh yeah, anytime, anytime, man. So, uh, taking a look at the two teams here, I'll kind of just go through the list kind of quick here. We've got HD, on the CSA team, we've got HD here under Hazard. We've got 14 Tennessee under Sparhawk. we got Lieutenant Brooke leading 2nd US. Sharpshooters, we got 14 Tennessee under Viking. Then we've got 6 North Carolina under 9th, 1st VA under Alden. Sigmar leading 4th West Virginia. Uh, CQB's in here as well under Kaiser. And we've got PB under Knox, i -Corps under uh, Mr. Berger here. And I think that's everyone. Oh, no, we got some battery folks as well. A lot of uh, HDs on here, some Tyndall battery, some 14 Tennessee, so a lot of already as well. Oh, NSR, so. See, so we got Mr. Sigmar leading tonight. What kind of uh, style do you think he's going to do on this defensive type of map? Um, I would say for Sigmar, Sigmar's been pretty, uh, pretty active in the regiment. He's one of our more active people. Uh, he does a pretty good job leading. Uh, his maneuvering is pretty good, so I'll be looking for him to get into the spots when he needs to be there. George Bush. His gotcha. reaction time is pretty good. So. So kind of taking like a reactive defense, just kind of plugging holes as they appear type of thing? I would imagine so, on this map at least. Oh, very cool, very cool. And it looks like we've got uh, the U.S. is moving out, and they have set up on the far right side here of the Union line. CSA is kind of oriented off of them opposite uh, what do you think about this current setup here for the union well the current setup well it just looks like it's going to be a fight for the uh, right side i really don't like how they're masked right now i mean that's that's a target for artillery artillery can see them where they're at yep yep absolutely <laughs> and it looks like uh it looks like they're going in for a main attack so i guess i'll do the intros uh for the union after depending on how this attack goes well i agree with it don't just sit there uh because you're gonna get lit up by Artie. it's not a good spot to set if you're gonna make an attack do it quick at least while the csa is kind of spread out a little bit oh maybe they're not moving forward looks like they're just doing a volley here It's like they're going to do some uh, long-distance shooting for a little bit here. No, I'll be interested to see uh, how long it takes before we start seeing some arty shots yeah. hitting here. So it looks like uh, Sigmar is uh, kind of set up opposite the point, a little bit behind it here on these rock set. What do you think of uh, his setup here? Are you happy with it, or would you uh, recommend any changes for, uh, for your unit at the moment? Um, I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, you're in hard cover. You got most of CSA pretty much to maybe the east of their position, pushing their right flank. So CSA left. So I don't hate it. I would probably say, you know, you could get to the defilade a little closer and maybe get some better shots. Yeah, it looks but, like looks like they're targeting the Artie from what I can see. And Artie is targeting oh. them. Yep, leave it to us to be the ones to uh, always take Artie. I mean, our guys are always like, if they're going to focus it on eight guys, and let them. <laughs> oh, very true. It looks like the Union is kind of moving up a little bit here, not charging, just in a very deliberate line here. Uh, what do you think about this Union? Uh, it looks like an open order as well. What do you think about this current position they got going? Um, so what it looks like is a typical fire and advance strat to me. Uh, they're pulling in a lot of, a lot of CSAs flooding over now. I would say if you're going to push the attack, you need to push it soon before they get a lot of reinforcements over here. I mean, who do you got that they're facing up against? AB, 14th Tennessee, and HD. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you should have pressed this earlier when they kind of were a little bit more spread out, but we'll see. I mean, you got to get them into a kill box here, and CSA has an opportunity to do that. Yeah, we'll see if they move up a little bit. So far, well, it looks like yeah, Ninth Corps is now starting to join the line as well. Maybe kind of back a little bit, On the line, extending Jim. that line a little bit I more. Mean, Cover arms. Stretching, stretching the line as far as they are. I mean, I say you could probably stretch out a little bit more, especially on the left side of this line hey, over here. Uh, Ninth Corps is really kind of clumped up here. Yeah, I don't know about doing a kind of close order on that. I might do a little bit of open order, I would think. You don't have to be full, yeah, like, I mean, skirmishing, but a little bit of spacing is never a bad thing on this kind of uh, environment, I would think. I mean, it's really going to come down to Cav here. It's really going to come down to HL. Yeah, so far, the Union's behind on tickets, and there's some of that already. Knock it down, poor yeah. IVB. Yeah, th this this push on the right was, was done before it even began, frankly. I mean, if you were going to go... You got to get there quick. You got to commit right off the bat if you want those rocks. Yeah, we'll see if I can uh, do a quick uh, roll call before the action starts. See him doing something crazy, call out, and I'll stop. So we got Hood leading 42nd, 9th Court under games. Rick's leading the 79th, New York. See, then we got Joker leading the 19th, Indiana. IVB under Salty. HL under Grinch and KMGG. And then we've got Mattis on the guns along with Snapperkins from HL. Oh, I don't agree with uh, HL over here crouching in the open field. I mean, yeah. I just saw about four or five guys drop. So that's 15 tickets right there. Yep, and wait a second. 19th Indiana is kind of making a move. Boards point? Ooh. I don't Ninth know, Corps I, and I, IVB are moving up I don't over know, here towards I, point, yeah. I wonder if they're trying to bait them out, or uh, what, do, what do you think is going on here? Honestly, I think the strat is right now are get on this defilade, but this is horrible, and that's the example of why right there. I would say, you know, if you were going to press the attack, the right side was really your best chance. Over here, you got to be aggressive. You can't stall and shoot it out with them here. I mean, they're just getting blown to smithereens right now by that artillery. Yeah, it looks like uh, Hood's trying to get him to move forward here, oh, but I don't know. Here we go. We'll see if this can work. I don't know. It, it's too disaggregated. Too disaggregated and too late, to be quite frank with you. Uh, I think I agree with you. CSA is going to easily hold this. Yeah, so far, your boys have kind of held their position shooting into the side of the Union. What do you think about uh, 4th West Virginia's positioning at the moment? Uh, I mean, flanking fire is always good. I mean, I'm not going to say that maybe if they were up there on the line, help hold it. But I think where they are is fine. I mean, they've kind of daunted this uh, Union attack. I mean, they are falling back. So 40 seconds getting out of there. Yeah, it looks like they are falling back. Uh, so it looks like, what do you think, the CSA will just recap right away? Nah. If I'm a CSA, don't recap right now. What do you, what do you, you got 20 minutes on a counterattack timer, and you almost got them to engage. Yeah, but then uh, aren't, are you you're not concerned about losing more tickets as well, yourself? Eh. Because the main timer's not I going I mean, if down. you're on a ticket lead right now. Yeah, but do you I mean, want to got get 20 them? minutes to see what you can do. Do you think they can get them down to uh, last stand in 20 minutes? You're flanked from the right side, fellas. Uh, probably kind of not. Get these flags out, not gonna lie. We, we I mean, I would give it the good college try, you know. You got 20 I minutes. Hug this tree. I would say if around maybe like that 8-minute mark or so, maybe 10-minute mark. You know, if you don't get them halfway through taking losses, you know, you might as well just do a cap. But then again, with the artillery doing what they're doing over there, to poor, uh, who is this over here? 42nd? I'm here and I'm queer. Oh, IVB. Oh. Yeah, IVB got yeah, it pretty hard there. Yeah. 
I mean, the re I mean, this is just. It was too disaggregated. They waited too long. Yep, it was uh, very stretched down, and then when it wasn't very good, so CSA did. Uh, looks like they're gonna go for the cap anyway. Um, yeah. Just let the clock I mean, go CSA, down. CSA, all they have to do is reset now. That's all they have to do. And we do have four, um, first VA here in the far right side. Do you like uh, detaching units to this, do these kind of missions, or do you think it's a waste of manpower? What's your kind of thoughts on what Mr. Alden's doing here with the first VA? Oh, on that far right side? Uh huh. Over by the Union already. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that skirmishing is a waste of manpower. I would say, if done correctly, you could claim some pretty decent tickets here, but Alden has to be pretty careful here that he doesn't have this entire Union team turn on him, so. He's kind of cut off from the uh, rest of oh, CSA flag, right now. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's my thoughts on the matter. If, if he doesn't get caught, it works great. But if he gets caught, whatever you did is not going to make up for the loss. And instead of cleaning up these easy little skirmishing out of line kills on artillery, they're trying to en engage the main battle line right now. And all it takes is an arty officer to come over and hit him because I don't think they have an officer over here themselves. No, they don't. Well, looks, looks like Hood's going to yeah. try to do a big flank attack, though. And I think he's going to hit your guys here. Yeah, it's get the bush, get oh, it's yeah. 14 Tennessee. I think we'll run to first. The bush, other side of the bush. Well, let's see. Between CQB, 4th West Virginia, SR. Fourteen. Oh, Knight oh, uh, came up as well, yeah. Yeah, Hood's going to be down here. CQB, Bale's down. Bale's down over here. Come here, bitch. Come here. Oh, and Sigmar's oh, chasing yeah. after him. Oh, it's an aggressive play right now. Uh, do you think it's worth it to try to get the flag, the flag, or do you think it's... Uh... Oh, he's going for the flag. Oh, they got it. Oh, they were able to get the flag. Oh, guy Who got him. They get? Oh, wait. Guy's going for Rollins. He's trying to catch him. It's great, guy. It's great. Oh... Oh, man. Yeah, guy. Turn around. Just go back. It's not worth it. Uh -huh. Oh, the flag's down anyway. Oh, I got killed by somebody else. We'll, we'll give we'll give 4th West Virginia the credit for the taking it down. They scared him. They gave him a heart attack. You know, yeah, the heart disease as a result. Yeah, that's going to be easy for Union to recover, though. Oh, very easy. They're already going to recover it. Here comes uh, Klein from uh, 42nd. Come pick it up. Yep. And they're going to get it out. So now that we're in kind of a lull, so uh, Back to the rally point, boys. why don't we do a little uh, interview? No, not, not really an interview, but uh, 4th West Virginia. What can you tell me? You know, elevator pitch for the units, so to speak. Who are you guys? What do you do? Um, what are you about? So 4th West Virginia, um, fun fact, will be a one year of an active regiment attending events each and every weekend. Uh, yeah, that's coming up September 29th. The unit will be a year old. Oh, a lot nice of people congrats, think of us man. as skirmishers. Um, a lot of people think of us as skirmishers, but yeah, we do skirmishing. I mean, especially tonight when we have low numbers because some people couldn't make it tonight. They have things going on, and we do some skirmishing, but our main focus is to really turn into a line infantry try to do that best we can um we've seen growth in the last month or so i mean tonight's just an oddball out for attendance for us but uh we just now started oh, a man, artillery division officer. Officer, run. uh we're also attending the southern aggression on fridays at 8 p.m house divided campaign saturdays ah. at 8 p.m and we are currently trying to start and host our own event, the Mountaineer Campaign, on Mondays at 8 p.m. EST. Ah, very cool, man. Uh, Pretty full schedule. Yeah. Um, try to keep people busy, you know, Take keep your people cool. engaged. 
any regimental leaders out there thinking about starting a regiment or started one, you know, I think Coach Tao can attest to this. When we first started attending events, uh, we were coming to events with what, three guys, four guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, you know, it was like, oh, who are they? Oh, I just put them on the line. You guys have gotten a lot bigger, man, and, and, and you're consistent, which is always, you know, kind of the thing. You, you get a lot of, you know, rapid rise and rapid fall sometimes, but uh, you guys have been pretty steady, which is always good to see. Yeah, we're, uh, I mean, we just started offering up artillery for people who maybe want to play artillery if infantry is not your thing. And in the regiment, yes, you can do both. You can do both infantry and artillery. It just depends on what you want to do here. Uh, looks like 40 seconds coming in for another charge. And they're targeting Sigmar and whoever's on the rocks here. Who is this? 14th. Yeah, it looks like it's going to hit 14th, 14th first. Yeah. Next I really want to see what we do here on this. Uh, oh, plane. wow. Look at that. Already shot, though. Try to get the flag. The flag yep. No, here we go. Charge against our guys. What can we do here? Back, buddy. And 40 seconds easily going to win that. Uh, I mean, you know, I don't know about easily. Oh, look how many men are left. The difference maker there was uh, Hood survived. Forty seconds acting a little aggressive tonight with these raiding parties. Yeah, what do you flag up on the way out too? What do you think of that strategy so far? I mean, these pounces. I don't know if they're really helping necessarily. Um. I mean, they have got the CSA down to just about engage, but they're kind of hurting themselves. They're they're halfway through engage now. Yeah, I'd say you know, my guy, you know, it is map dependent. But usually, if it's after 30 and I don't see you on engaged on you know a 43 start, I say you know four times out of knots, that's not good uh, for the uh, attacker if you haven't gotten the defender down by 30 minutes. It, it can show you kind of lose momentum. It doesn't mean you'll lose. It just, you know, you're kind of a little bit behind. Yeah, they're really going to be looking for uh, the Union to ramp up the aggression a little bit. Especially on this map. It's really hard to stand there. I mean, you can win as Union on a shootout, but you have to time it just right when to charge. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they're hurting a bit as far as that goes at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I would slow it down a little bit as Union. Really? Go back, you play would? that right side again. Like, Yeah, go back, play that right side again. Shoot it out with them a little bit. You can probably pull them. You can bring the tickets a little bit closer. I'm not saying you're necessarily going to win the ticket battle by shooting it out, but... Yeah, well, there they go to engage to your points. Yeah, I mean, it's I, not I, far fetched here for Union. No, they can win it's, this. It's still winnable. It's still winnable, but they um they're gonna have to show me something else. Like you said, I think a play on you the know, right I'd... side might work. Um, if Forty Second had more teeth to it, if they had like another two or three units, these attacks might work better. I don't I don't know how much you know effects they're really having at this long distance shooting. To be honest with you, <laughs> versus letting the arty just you know hit you. Yeah. Already, you know, it's, it's easy to shoot a you know stationary target as already. A lot harder if you're moving around, but we'll see if they start maneuvering here. I mean, Union's only hope <laughs> is to claim that right side. And what I'm what I'm kind of seeing here is a full flip of the field now. Union's going far left flank. <laughs> Rally, rally, yeah, I mean, I think this could possibly work if they run through it. Well, that's the key, is running through it. Again, all CSA is doing is reacting. Yeah, got get, a good yeah, getting, yeah getting online and, and yeah, HD. Yeah, getting online and shooting is not what I would want to see. Because again, I think Artie will just, you know, do what yeah, it's doing. Artie's just going to farm this up right now. You got kind of a 
really stretched out line again here from Union. Yeah! And it's, it's, HL. There's some kind of maneuvering going on over here. It's far right of the Union HL side. HL might be looking to... Uh, out, boys. Make sure you got your loads. Get in position here, but they're a prime artillery target right in front of the guns. Well, they're also taking infillet fire from the other line over there as well, over to the northwest. And yeah, they're not going to be able to. KMG is just going to get them out. Yeah, they're not going to be able to sustain themselves out there. Oh, you've got the. Oh, KMG's no longer a cadet anymore. Good oh. on him. Oh, did he get it? Nice. Good shit. Second lieutenant. He's got that butter bar. Yeah, IVB is getting corn up over here. GSA is just reacting better. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, they've been pretty reactive today so far. Union, I think it's just been very slow in all their maneuvers. Very... Honestly, if Hood wants if Hood wants to play aggressive as he's been doing. Take him and maybe one other unit, maybe like 9th Corps, off to the left and drag off as many as you can and push the right side, you know, with IVB, HL. Yeah, I think that would be... Uh, kind of kind of fake cool. him out. Take 19th with him. Something, something, some kind of maneuvering. Because right now what they're doing when they're when they're flipping the field with their entire team... All the un all the CSA has to do is react as a team, and that's all they've done this entire match so far, from what I've seen. Yep, yep, and it's they got a lot shorter distance to cover than the uh, Union does. Yeah, you got to make them move around a bit. Demonstrate a force on one side, create a feint with that, charge with your main force on the right. Come on, I watched some videos, coach. Oh, that's oh. good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glad somebody watches the lesson videos. <laughs> Yeah, those videos never do too well. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I, was, I find I, them quite informative. Yeah, I like making them, so I'll probably keep doing it. But yeah, they, uh, I'm glad they're helpful to somebody. Hey. For some of those new uh, leaders in War of Rights, even if you play pubs, check them out, man. Worth it. It's worth it. Get some good information. Yeah, a little... little uh, a little knowledge, a little knowledge. background. Direct straight ahead. They just, I am really not off. sure about what Sigmar is doing over here on the far CSA right. I don't know if he's going for skirmishing kills on artillery. Looks like they may be farming artillery right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't hate his positioning here. I mean, he's got concealment. He's, he's kind of underneath a bit of an incline from the enemy infantry. I don't think this is a bad position. The only thing I'd be worried about is getting, getting bushwhacked. Yeah. I mean, he's in a threat right now. Union's, again, flip field. Yeah, yeah, it is a, it is flipped. And once more, they're kind of moving deliberate here. We're at 22-27. Uh, CSA got engaged. And Union has hit taken losses. A full, almost a full morale state behind, I'd say. Yeah, that's... I mean, we could call it a full morale state. <laughs> CSA still, still at the top end of engaged. They just now got into it. Yeah, yeah. I was being a little generous there. Well, you hate to see it. You hate to see Union not playing so aggressive on this map. No, no. This is this is a map. I, I'd say Union needs to kind of punch and punch hard. But uh... okay, here we go again. Forty second in the lead. Once more, they're gonna try to go up and cap again. Uh, uh, slightly better on the attack, I'd say. It's a little bit more massed. Yeah, not too bad this time. It's not 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 not, got not immaculate, but some remnants. it's better. Now this is not their entire team. They still have some stragglers coming up from Maine. Yeah, because they kind of hang hung around in front of the guns too long. You can't assemble in an area where the enemy can, you know, hit you. Ooh. I'm not too sure about this attack right now. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this maneuver over here. Who's this? HD. Look at this. Yeah, they're gonna cut the, on them. Yeah, they cut their legs out from under them. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they cleaned up some uh, skirmishers, not aligned line killers. Well done, HD. Yeah, it was good maneuvering by HD there. Well, the problem is you still got uh, guys moving forward here. They need to kind of clean up these stragglers and make sure you don't give them out of lines for nothing. I would say I'm kind of maybe a little bit disappointed with the Union artillery. I mean, they've moved these guns up, but... We do have a... Is in maddest form right now. We do have a 14-man imbalance. Um, in favor of the CSA. Not counting you and I. So really more like 12. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. So more like 12, so... It's not... See you. Yeah, it's, it's not great, but not, not... Yeah. What are the boys doing again? First VA is back over here again. Looks like they're going to harass the artillery. Right side. Welcome Alden's got them back over there again. Yeah, they might be the, the unit to balance. It's like five, six guys. Mm, I'm looking at five right now, unless somebody else joins the party. Yeah. There's six. Yeah, there's, there's Shiloh. There's, no, that's five. Yeah. Yeah, I need to figure out this imbalance somehow. To the right, boys! Hurry, hurry! Quickly, quickly! Here comes Sigmar once more. Oh, it's great to see another uh, SR man joining the fourth line tonight. They've been running with us the past couple events. Oh, you always, always end get up to finding talk. some SR guy in the line. They always get to see. Not sure why we have a flag. You would think that that flag would be with a slightly bigger unit. I don't hate it, though. I mean, you get the flag in places where, you know, maybe a bigger unit can't get it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not a horrible idea. Sigmar's claimed another bush, I see. Yeah, he loves his bushes. Hey, take, uh, you know, take it, take whatever advantage you can get. See them, even if it's a leaf, cover you a little bit. Maybe with this first VA 4th West Virginia SR combo, maybe they could terrorize the flank a little bit here. Yeah, I'd just be worried about getting to, that. there's still a lot of Union back here. You, get, you gotta be careful not to get oh, yeah, well, bushwhacked. Now's the perfect time. Get, get that flanking right fire, because they're moving up again. And here we go. Once again, Hood's in the lead. Yeah, there's still a lot that's not committed to this, though. This this one's a worse charge than the other one. Yeah, this one, uh... You got HL and 42nd committed. HL's coming in strung out. A couple ninth Corps guys in the back. Yeah, I mean, the Artie's, you know, contributing to that as well, but, you know... Now IVB's coming in. Got a random flank at going HD off again. on the far side. Oh, that's 14th. 14th this time is coming in to cut the legs off from under him. Yeah, I do like those uh, little counter blows they do. We've well, seen that now by two different units. And HD's got discipline. HD and CQB disciplined to hold the rocks over here. Flag, get to the rear. You idiot. Oh, Union. Oh, no. What are you doing? Stand on top of the hill get those guys out. Flag. Wait. Oh, no. oh, here comes yeah, uh, 4th West Virginia trying to cut the legs out at the end here, too, from the other side. Well, you've got HD coming in. Again. Nice shot, nice shot. Let's see nice what shot. Sigmar can do here. Keep it clean, boys. Keep it clean. Push these ganks out. How do I survive? Back, back. No, back, no! Alright, we got it, we got it, boys. We got it, we got it, we got it. 
We got it. We got it, boys. We got it. Recovery, Fourth West recovery. Virginia HD and Sixth NC are going to be able to clear off the remnants of the remaining Back Union on point. Back to original yep. Spot. Yeah. I would say that Union blew it there in the beginning. Oh, we got somebody like Gomer over here. Pops hiding in the bushes. Oh, there's always one. Next to all the Union. There's always one. Just hanging out. He's just resting, resting his soul. Come on now, level 100. We expect better than that. Somebody pick up that fucking flag. Here we go. All stand around, staring at it. Private Dave, how you doing? Yeah, at this point, I'm looking at Union probably. I mean, again, in the beginning, I said it. You had the opportunity in the beginning to charge the rocks. CSA was spread out. You just let them group up. Yeah. No, yes, they do have they do have a shorter distance to cover, but again, if you would have just went aggressive the first first charge and not stopped and formed a massive line and stretched it out and shot at them, probably could have won that melee on that right side there. Union right, that is. Yeah, I'm I'm really not happy with uh, Union kind of forming up along this fence because already just keeps nailing them here too. That's another big. They gotta form up somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Right now, all these Union officers will be back here. They're clear in the back. They should all be getting together, going with a plan. Coordinating an attack here. I agree. Man, they're all just too spread out. Don't really see much communication. Kind of just aimlessly trying to trying to attack a point on the battlefield and hope people follow you is not a winning formula. Uh, no, it's it's kind of. And there we go, another hit on Artie. Keep going along that. that, that keep going along shot. that fence, man. You you're gonna learn. Why why are you that going along? Yeah, why are you walking along it? You should just be going over it. So you know you got all this room back here, underneath this defilade. Here was. 14th Tennessee shot that already shot. Good shot, 14th. Oh, we got another cannon being pushed up here by uh, Second U.S. It looks like. Ah, oh, dental battery. Sharpshooters, yes. that is. Let's go, boys. God save Ireland, boys. Oh, they're hanging out with Bobs. Sigmar moving here. Bobs is hanging out. Oh, he killed a guy. Pops is still alive over there, huh? Yeah, he's hanging out. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we got another charge coming in. Can we call that man Snake from, uh... Yeah, he's got, he's got a box over his head. Get that officer, boys. Sharps, hit that officer. From Metal Gear Solid, we'll call him Snake. All right, this, I don't hate it. 40 seconds going for the rock for the rest of the Union Charges point. Uh, I mean, if they can win the melee on point, because they're committing way too much to these rocks right now. 40 seconds dragged off, three units. Come here, Yankee! The problem was, too much already coming in hit that point. Yeah, I mean, this is really... Crippled, aim for the spine. I mean, at this point, it's final stand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with all that said, they almost won it, but again, it's just they don't have quite enough punch. Yeah, they just don't have that a bit of a show. coordination either. Sorts. Ah! KMG and his counterpart here. Oh, yeah. It's getting back. Are the only ones that were able to get out of there. Okay, now we've got a problem. We've got a Union flag in the dirt now. Is that Cav's flag? Oh yeah, that's gonna be really bad. Oh no, that's that's it's one of the regular. No, that's flags. an infantry flag. Who do we got over here? 
Sigmar again lurking on this right side. Are you? Oh, he's having fun doing that. See, all these small units like CQB, SR, 4th West Virginia, all they have to do is band together. You have a pretty decent yeah, sized line. Yeah, you know, I haven't really talked about the CSA defense too much. What have you thought about how they've set up here and played this match so far? We talked about it a little bit, but overall, what's been your impression of these guys so far? Well, I would say that that strung out line that the Union's been trying to do works a lot better for the CSA, mainly because they have a death lead they can get behind. And Union has to charge an open field. Very true, and I and also to say they they, they 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 don't stay separated. They come in very quickly to help each other, yes. either through fire yeah. or through maneuver. But they don't just sit there and wait. They see something, they react to it. Yeah, I mean Union just needs to bait the CSA. And here we go again, another flip, another left side Union push here. Hood's in the lead, along with Orkut. Or Wolf. No, it's Wolf today. Here's 19th Indiana, but they're stopping, which I think is a huge mistake. I mean, unless he's trying to just drag off some units here. Maybe just demonstrate. Yeah, HL's but... coming in, too, with uh, 42nd as well. So is 9th Corps. I do, I do hate column attacks. Oh, there's the artillery. Oh, wow. 42nd just took a monster artillery hit. Oh, and canister, they got canister. canister too. That 40 seconds oh. basically wiped. <laughs> yeah, 40 seconds done. Those yep, two already get, shots get them out of there. basically knocked them out. HL is going to hold strong, but now they're going to be probably the target of the next artillery yeah, show. Yeah, Either just, them or 9th Corps. Yeah, they hold strong until the next year. <laughs> until that next one hits them. Yeah. These guys back here, I want to know who shot that. Does that that looked like a shell round to me, and then followed up by a canister shot. I think, I think that's 14th Tennessee again. Oh, man. Good shit, man. Uh, the CSA already has been very on point this whole game. Very impressed. Yeah, 14th has been knocking them down. Yeah, we're almost at two morale states at this point here. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it was a valiant effort by CSA or by Union, but uh, yeah, I think again, you hesitated too much in the beginning, and it, it cost you. Yep, yep. Now all CSA has to do is mass on point, and wait for the push. I just if it was me. I just launched a counterattack and just put him onto uh, final push. I won't even wait. I mean, the smarter thing is to win, just let Artie get him down, but I'd just be wanting yeah. to get on to the next match, because this one's... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just one good artillery shot away from final push. And the way 14th's been knocking them down today. It's coming. All right, Canister got a couple of them. Yeah, it's a little bit more spread out. It's a little bit more um, defensive against Canister. So canister comes in as this cone, so you're most vulnerable if you're in like a column formation marching towards it. You want to be kind of perpendicular to it. That'll minimize your losses. Yeah, last thing you want is what happened to uh, us and EB. Oh, yeah. That was an HDC on uh, Bolivar Camp. I remember. Just everything disappeared. It's like, what happens? They're gone. What do you mean they're gone? They're gone. They went to sleep in the tents. All right. So Hood. It looks like Hood's going to try to launch an attack on the rocks again. 
the bush. Yeah, try to do something, I suppose. Maybe a delay, maybe a delay charge here from IVB in 42nd. Ah, uh, possible. Yeah, there's the final push. I would say HL is gonna be the bait here, but they're going way too far right. Yeah, again, again, hit by Artie as well coming in. Oh, yeah, they're. Three game win. Come on, kill these bitches. I mean, at this point, three minutes left. You just send this. We'll send the entire team. You got time for at least one more charge after this. <laughs> I would just say get it over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, tactically feasible, I suppose, but. Yeah, no point in just standing around shooting. Get in there and try to kill as many as you can. Make this at least respectable. <laughs> Try to get him at least down the breaking, you know. Yeah, make have something feel good about yourselves, you know. Comes <laughs> IVB, 19th Indiana, up behind 42nd, who's already charged in and died. And there's good damage on this right side, but this the center just. Every every attack launched is not held up at all. Nope. And again, it's I mean it's. Here comes the counter charge from CSA. Yeah. They're gonna go all the way up to the fence right here. That's what I do. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Go all the way up to the road. As far as you can go. All the way up to the road and just catch them coming up. We're still Few looking for that flag. Back. Get these guys. Get that guy for something. Yep, yeah, Knight's got the idea here. Do not jump this fence, six and C. Do not jump. Get out of here, Yankee. Sorry, Saunders. Don't get caught up fighting these guys on the fence line. Look to your right. They could still sweep in. I mean, like I said, I don't think it's likely, but it's it's still technically possible. They just bypass and go right for the point. It is possible. I kind of like that one. Kind of the way Salty's going, but uh, I don't think I'm enough mana lie. going with them. Thank you, executed for heresy. Do it, do you must do it. Have you been doing something logical? That's a big question mark. Well, without enough troops, it's not going to matter. But I try to bypass and hit hit the point. But you know. clean, clean up these out of lines. You got AB out here. Pops is still alive. He's running. Yep, <laughs> he's running from the whole Union team coming in. Yeah, they did get him the breaking though, at least. So they, 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 that was achieved. Yeah. Now, now you're just going to see a a strung out just train coming in. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Company yeah, that panic charge when you think just keep throwing bodies at them, man. You'll win. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Keep throwing bodies. Uh, you know, you got nothing left you can do, though. It's all for the fun. It's all in good fun, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, and that's it. So, that's the end of the first match. Uh, any final thoughts? Good reaction by the CSA. Uh, I think Union just played it too passive. They kind of started having the right idea there towards the end of the match with, uh, you know, committing half to one side and maybe one or two units on the right side, but sending most of the team left to drag off as many as they can. If right was to win the melee, I could see him probably coming up behind sweeping, you know. They had the right idea towards the end, but CSA just played it better. Yeah, I think I agree, and I think CSA already, too, played an excellent game. I think they were a big factor in this victory. But that is all we got for the first match. We got one more to go, and uh, hope to see you all for that one.